Hello and welcome back to day nine of MuleSoft training by Siv Prasad Valuru. So I hope you have completed watching day eight videos. In day nine, we will actually go through database endpoint. We will see how MuleSoft can connect to databases using database endpoint. Not only that, we will see some best practices like how to externalize your configurations how to secure your properties like passwords, et cetera, and how to migrate between the environments. So as we'll be talking to databases today, I want to tell you that I'll be using MySQL as my database. So I will show you in this video how to install MySQL server and MySQL workbench, which is nothing but a client. So actually many people feel it difficult to install mysql server i'll show you how to install it for windows if you are using linux or mac i want you to google and install mysql on your own but let me show you for windows so what i'm going to do is i'll go to google and i'll search for mysql server download i'll take this link download mysql installer it will take me to the download page. Uh, I will select the latest version. And I will select this 2.1 MB file, the installer. Click on download. It will ask me to log in or sign up. Not required. I can just click on no, thanks. Just start my download. It will download. So I have already downloaded it. And under my Git repository for day nine, uh, I have kept it here. So either you can download it from the website or if you have downloaded my Git repository, you can see the installer here. So I'll just double click on it and I'll show you how to install. It is very simple, but only a few things you need to know. I'll tell you. Um, here, do you want to install server only, client only or full? Don't take full. We don't want full MySQL installation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select custom next. I want to install only MySQL server. So I'll select MySQL server latest version and then I'll minimize it. I also wanted to install MySQL workbench. So I'm expanding applications, MySQL workbench, and I'll select the latest version and take it to the right side. Next. So I'll just click on execute. First, these two will be downloaded and then we will be able to run them. So it will take a few seconds. Let us wait. Okay, so they are downloaded right now. I'll click on next. They are ready to install. I will click on execute. So while installing, if the installer prompts to install anything else, just take all the defaults. So MySQL server installation is complete. Now it is installing Workbench. This will also be done. OK, this is also complete. I will select Next. Now it is asking me to configure MySQL server, ready to configure. I will take Next. Now. It is asking what is the port at which you want your server to listen on, etc. I will take all the defaults. Next, next. Here it is asking me give a password for a root user. So I will give root as a password. It's up to you. To be simple, I will give root as a password, and root is a username. So it is saying that password strength is weak, but that is okay for me. Because if you can also give root as a password, because all my examples next will work with root as password. Otherwise, you might need to change the password every time. Give it simply root root if possible. Then take next, 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 finish. That's all. This will install MySQL server and we have configured it. Let us wait until all are done. Done, all are green, finish. Next. So it is asking me to start MySQL work.
workbench. Okay, finish. This will start MySQL workbench. I can click on this local instance. So it's asking me to log in as root. I'll give my password, whatever I gave. So I'm connected to MySQL server using this workbench. Now I can create a database by just right clicking here, create schema. I'll create mule training DB. So I am creating a schema or database with this name. Apply. Finish. See, there is a database created, but there are no tables right now. So in next lectures, we are going to use this database, create tables, query on them, etc. So this is the setup which I want you to have on your machine before we get started with database endpoint. That's all. See you next video.